All right, all right, all right, guys. Welcome back. We are someday in October 2023, uh, October 29th. We got my little Red Devil GPU running right there with my CPU rigs. One, two, three, four, all these Ryzen 3900Xs and one big boy up there. Run, not really running. Everything's off. And we'll do a little update here since I have not posted in a while because not much going on, right? Uh, the only thing going on lately is, let's zip over here, Crypto Blammo 34.5. Up from, my God, it was down to 26, right? Like last month. So not a bad return. And that got me to thinking, I cannot mine anymore. It's just, it was an interesting hobby. Uh, a lot of electricity costs, a lot of heat management. I just decided the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. Uh, recouped lots of my money uh, in equipment by selling. I had, I, sell, I had to sell on eBay. It was easiest for me. I know eBay rips you off with a high... High seller fees, and uh, they don't really protect the sellers either, so you have to pay for extra shipping to uh, guarantee there's a signature uh, signed when the uh, GPU arrives so you don't get scammed. Let's talk about that real quick. So if you're selling on eBay to get anything, mostly the crypto stuff because it's high ticket items, anything over, let's say, I think it's 700 bucks eBay will say you have to pay for the extra signature required because they know people are scamming sellers. Even though they don't protect sellers, they say, well, you're going to pay for this extra UPS signature required over 18 or whatever. And uh, I do that. And I also will put on, like when I was doing the 3080 Ti's, the big ticket GPUs, uh, I will also put on insurance, you know, because you can't trust anyone at eBay. eBay is kind of a, a poop hole of selling and buying. It's not the greatest. Uh, as a seller, you do get gypped. It, again, you don't have to use them. No one's twisting your arm, but, and you don't have to go meet someone in person, which you can get, you know, robbed or, you know, beat up that way. Someone could rob you. I don't know. And if you're going to sell in person on using uh, Facebook marketplace or Craig's or whatever, uh, meet at a police lobby somewhere and tell, go in and tell the uh, desk sergeant or whatever, Hey, I'm going to meet someone to sell something. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, they're cool with that. They get it. And uh, they know it's not a safe world out there, especially the U.S. It's a, it's a degrading society. The culture is fading. The society is collapsing. Uh, we're on our end days in this country. Uh, so it is the way it is. It's not a safe out there. So that's why I choose eBay. Long-winded answer. Uh, I do use eBay, and they do charge a lot in fees. Uh, so I'm trying to think what else. And you're also fighting a price war with other sellers. But I did dump all my uh, 3080 Ti's, even the modded ones with copper shims. Got rid of them. They, they were just sitting around collecting dust. And I made, 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 a, made a lot of money on them. You know, I pretty much didn't break even, but I got uh, most of my money back. Even with the low price on GPUs, you know, they tanked. They're, again, we're not in the boom phase anymore. And, of course, the life lesson to people out there, the people that get rich or get wealthy off of anything like crypto and gold mining, who makes the money? The people selling the shovels, the picks, the donkeys, the wagons, the wheelbarrows, the buckets. It's not the people actually actually out there doing the mining, really. It's the guys selling the equipment. Uh, it's, come on, that's where the money's at, selling supplies, uh, not the actual action of mining, whether crypto or, you know, in the old gold days. It's just the way it is. Prove me wrong. I mean, that's the way I see it. But so what I've done, you know, I got all these things, my electricity bill, they crank natural gas prices. So electricity jumped 70% down where I'm at. It was ridiculous. It wasn't worth the uh, squeeze. Oh, juice was not worth the squeeze. That's a good saying because is the effort, you know, the reward worth the effort. Most times, no, you got to cut your losses, set your limits. So what I did is if I can find the right mouse here, uh, I noticed that on Fidelity, blammo. They do let you trade crypto now. I am very, very cautious with um, online exchanges. After BlockFi and Voyager went belly up, you got to watch. I think Coinbase is the only one out there. And now, you know, they're, they want everything on you too. They, they're almost like a fidelity now. They're 
the government makes them report every 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 detail of the person buying and selling crypto. So I said, well, screw it, man. Let's go trade on Fidelity. And what I recently did, I had like a couple hundred bucks. I went out and just bought crypto because I crypto. I went out and bought Bitcoin because I saw it going up and uh, it went through. You can trade anytime, like on any exchange and uh, blammo, it's in my account. They will do the reporting, you know, keeping track of my profits, losses if I sell and when I buy. All that stuff is a nice thing. I like that. Uh, the big negative. Uh, let's see. The big, big negative. Hold on a sec. Let me scroll down real quick. If they have it on here. How to start trading. There you go. Crypto. Whoops. Focus. Crypto is for investors with a high risk tolerance, baby. Any investing is high risk, man. You know, no one knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Everything can go to zero. Everything, even assets, Amazon, Exxon, it could all go to zero. What's to stop it? Uh, it's my state. You, you it tells you all this stuff. It gives you basic insight if you're a newbie to it, how to do it. And I'm going to tell you the negative of this real quick. Uh, let's see. Open a Fidelity account, blah, blah, blah. Typical stuff, right? So it's nice that the big boys are actually getting into it. And I think part of the reason crypto, Bitcoin, is going up is because BlackRock is working on getting their ETF. It's getting through the system. And I think e ETF or EFT. Oh, my God. I don't. EFT. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. I'm an idiot. But it's one of those things. Electronic T electronic ETF. ETF. I made mean, it's ETF. I get them all backwards sometimes. Uh, let's see. So again, that's why I bought some. I went through Fidelity. The negative, the negative is read the small print, folks. Whenever you're trading anything, read the small print. I know, blah, blah, blah. You went to public school. You can't comprehend. I get it. I get it. Corporate industrial public schools have failed humanity in this country. We are probably one of the dumbest nations on earth. And that's due to public school system. And that's by design because they do not. They, the owners, the, the controllers of the country, if not world, do not want people with critical thinking skills. That's obvious. Look at, look at, they're making you memorize, rote memorization of stupid facts. That is nothing, is useless. They don't teach you personal finance. They don't teach you investing. They don't teach you how to do your taxes. They don't teach you interpersonal skills, how to build your network, entrepreneurial skills, anything, those concepts. They don't throw them a across your bow to let you digest them nothing it's all stupid history crap stuff you don't need uh languages english it's just crap come on you don't even need i don't know history what else is sociology uh english you know how to you know write just give me the basics how to form a sense if i don't know the freaking computer is going to help me with my grammar but uh basic math give me a calculate when have i last used algebra trigonometry other than just to prove i remember how to do it it's just a joke it's all by design to keep you stupid and no critical thinking skills. And the basic way to learn is get out there and try stuff, fail, and you will learn. Uh, all right, let's get back to the main point. The ramble is real baby, but rambling is where the juice, the juicy nuggets come out. Uh, stream of consciousness. All right, so again, I hate exchanges. I'm very cautious of them. Uh, I did have stuff in Voyager. I made a lot of dividends and what are rewards and crap off Voyager. And, you know, someone spoke in my little head. God said to me, get out. And I actually got all my crap out into my personal wallet off of Voyager like a month before they tanked and locked everything down. It's like Trudeau coming in and locking out uh, protesters' bank accounts. It's like they locked you out. You couldn't do anything. You were, you were boned, man. You were screwed if you had money in Voyager and BlockFi. BlockFi had some stuff, but I didn't like their uh, dividends as much or the rewards. I had their credit card. Guess what? That's all gone. They killed their credit card. They stopped. Their accounts are gone. Uh, if you had money, they're giving you pennies on what you had. Same with Voyager. Uh, I had maybe 40 bucks left in rewards that were still pending when they locked everything down. You know, it's the price of price of playing at the table, man. Yeah, what a scary thought. And why is that? Same with now with Fidelity. You can do it. You can go buy through Fidelity, which I did. Small, small, small amount. But again, it says in the small print, not your co not your coins. They aren't your coins, not your keys, not your coins. You are buying. They're holding it. They have the keys. They have your coins. You don't own them. They're, you can't get them out unless you sell and get the money back. So they're holding everything. And that's, again, not your keys, right? That's the big, that's the saying goes true. And that's a life lesson from last year uh, with Voyager and BlockFi. 
Not your keys, not your coins. Live by it. Take the risk accordingly. It's very sketchy. But again, Bitcoin's going up while most everything else in the S&P 500 is going down. Amazingly, how that works. I don't know what's going on. Usually it was tied one to one, but it looks like crypto is sneaking up. Oh, let's see. Um, what do I have? I have Bitcoin, ETH, uh, Doji, Doji coin, if, uh, Litecoin, which is, again, that thing was at 400 bucks at one time before the founder of Litecoin dumped his, which should have been a sign. When the owners of stuff, the creators are dumping stuff, fall lead and get out. I should have got out then at 400 bucks a coin. Oh my God. Life lessons, man. So it's like the house is always winning. And that seems to be the case unless you kind of, are willing to get in there and buy and trade like it's at 34 six if maybe you make 20 percent on your money dump it and then wait for it to dump again i don't know is that a way to do it i have no idea you're trying to time the market i don't know and with fidelity they'll track your trades in that and maybe show your profit loss and maybe make tax reporting that much easier who knows whatever can be easier on that end of things is always good but they're still debating what is crypto is it a property is it an asset is it income what the hell i don't know just tell me what i owe <laughs> all right so that's where i'm at i think uh, i see a lot of guys i still follow on youtube some have migrated into doing kind of this kind of video where they're talking about crypto news what's going on with the fed and that's cool they, they realize um you know, mining isn't where it's at. It's a, I don't know, it's a, it's a hobby. It's an expensive hobby. Electricity costs, hardware costs, uh, fire hazard too. I've had some uh, some boards, power supply boards. You pull them out, there's some burnt burnt sockets, uh, burnt um, connectors and burnt cables. It makes you a little wondering like, and I bought quality stuff. It makes you a little nervous that, you know, this is gonna burnt my house down. So it's almost, again, is it worth it? No. It's better for me to just go buy an S&P 500 index fund and or dabble in a little crypto online and not put too much in. Because, again, not your keys, not your coin. I'm going to beat that into your head so you realize you could lose everything uh, based on the whims of these uh, exchanges and these financial institutions. Yeah, that's the goal going forward. They want to make everything, you know, in their in their control where they can just freeze your accounts if you don't have the right thing. If you go against the narrative, like they did in Canada, they locked you all out, man. They froze your accounts and they froze people that weren't even involved in certain aspects of, you know, not the same thing. It was just, oh, your name was similar. It's kind of scary. It's Orwellian. And that's where it's coming. Get cash. And I know crypto may be all right. But again, if you hold your keys, that's better. Uh, yeah. So it's a trade off. Do you want to have like a Fidelity hold them? Or do you want to just go buy them outright and quickly move them to your wallet and pay the exchange fees, the transfer fees? It's all, it's all, you all got to weigh your risk. I can't tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm still holding since 20 freaking 17. My, all my, all my crap. And from whatever I gathered from mining, I probably lost some because I was scammed out of some stuff due to my own stupidity on Ethereum. That was just stupid. I don't know, man. Never, 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 never send crypto to anything. Just don't. You'll lose it and you know where to get it back. So what else is going on? I'm, uh, I think, uh, like I said, on the news, Horizon is the, uh, I'm, even if I'm saying it wrong, you get the idea, the BlackRock uh, EFT uh, is, uh, is on the horizon. And BlackRock, of course, don't they, don't they rule the world or they're buying everything? You'll, uh, you'll own nothing and be happy. They're buying all the houses. You'll rent and be happy. And uh, that's the big boys. Again, it's a big club out there, guys. It's a big club. And you know what? We are not in it. We are the peasants and we're just getting scraps. And remember the old days, man, you could live off $60,000 salary. Wife could stay home, raise the kids, you get them in a car and they still have money to go on vacation and pay off your house. And now it's like, you can't even afford to eat out. It's bad. It is really bad out there. I'm not even lying. I was optimistic, but inflation, uh, the government is fudging numbers to make it seem like they're doing a good job, but they're not. It's all in selective numbering and data management to uh, put out to the useful idiots, the masses that aren't paying attention, that you're going broke faster. Inflation is destroying this country. Culture wars are destroying this country. Uh, it's just bad, dudes. I don't know what to say. Just hunker down. Minimalize. Minimalize? Minimize? Yeah, minimalist. Don't buy that shiny object. Cars are a waste of money. If you need a car, try to get a used one that you can work on a Toyota, Honda. That's about it. Scion. 
don't go after a GM Dodge. Do not. You will be sorry. It's a repair cost will destroy you. If you have stuff you don't need now, get rid of it. Boats. Boats are the biggest waste of money. Motorcycles, stuff like that. You don't need them. You're not using them. They're rusting. Take the cash. Just take the cash. Put the cash in your pocket and hold on to it. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Stuff you don't need. Just start thinking smart. Uh, you don't need this latest shiny object. And that's kind of where I get rid of all this computer stuff. These GPUs, I figure, what am I going to hold on for 10 years? I'm going to collect dust and just be in my way in my room. So I got rid of them. And now I have uh, only just the CPUs that I want to dump. And uh, that's about it. I was thinking about going into taking those GPUs and building computers. So people said, now nah, I don't want to deal with customers. Customers are a pain in the ass. And you're fighting the Amazon and the uh, new egg prices anyway. So what's the point? Uh, what else is going on? Let's see. Yeah, cleaning up stuff. Got lots of power supplies. Those aren't going too well on uh, eBay unless I sell them for nothing, you know, and lose money on shipping. But uh, so I might put them cheap and just crank shipping up just to make 20 bucks because 20 bucks is 20 bucks. But even after 14 percent, you know, what do I make? Uh, you know, 16 bucks, 17 bucks, whatever. I don't know. Something to think about. So, again, I'm downsizing, minimizing and thinking about what I can do just to get other uh, streams of income. Some things I'm telling you guys are trades. If you can do stuff and provide a service to somebody, whether it's IT, technical, help them with a computer, drywall, can you drive a boat, get a captain's license, can you paint, can you uh, refinish a front door so it looks halfway decent, sand it down, uh, stain it, and then put some... uh, polyurethane on UV and then wax it to protect it. Whoops, we lost our screen. That's a good trade. Can you do basic car maintenance for people, change their oil, rotate their tires, or even run their car to a shop and get it done for them? Because most people don't have time. And if you can take their car to a quick shop, boom, you make it, you know, have them pay you a couple bucks. A uh, handyman stuff is key. My God, you can make 200,000 bucks a year. Once your name is out there and you do a decent job, show up, not drunk, no criminal record, and uh, just repair the um, stuff I said, front door, drywall holes, patch drywall, paint, uh, fix disposals, fix the fridge, clean. Biggest thing I've seen, people don't clean their HVACs or laundry machines and stuff. Change your filters. People don't do that, and they break down. They wonder why their HVAC, which is five to 7000 bucks, breaks down. you got to change the freaking filters and vacuum this stuff out every month. It's, oh, it's too much work. Well, okay, you're going to spend 7000 bucks on the HVAC. So in a way, property management, house management stuff is key. Uh, you know, even uh, cleaning your dryer, your washing machine, there's filters. Filters on everything. People don't know about this. Pull the freaking filters out and clean them. Oh, it's going to take you 30, not even 30 minutes. There's a, in your microwave, there's a filter that catch grease on the top once you open the door. It's disgusting, but if it's not too bad a shape, you can uh, put some Dawn soap, get the grease out, or buy a new one for 10 bucks. You know what I mean? It'll make that machine last longer. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. You can make money providing skills and services that today's people have no clue how to do or don't have the time to do. Mostly it's they don't have the skill to do. Uh, and the people with high income yet, which is relative, right, whatever you think is high income, they just rather pay someone to do it. But again, a lot of people now don't know how to change a tire, don't know how to check their tire pressure, don't know even how to open the hood to their car. There could be little stuff like that. Don't know how to do drywall, don't know where to, how to buy paint. Freak out on Home Depot. Yeah, they freak out on Home Depot and they just freak out in general. But anyway, that is my update. Go forth, do great things, keep track of Bitcoin, it may go high. Thanks for watching.